up guys, Awesome Nerd Show here and today we're opening the BAM box because it finally arrived. So this is super late, it's almost time for new boxes now. And for the theme, I cannot seem to remember what it is at all. I feel there was something that, like bad blood or something that stuck in my head for some reason. I'm not exactly sure, something to do with blood, possibly. Um, I think it was like a different, like multiple name thing, but I don't know for sure. So let's open it up, and of course we always have our paper. Um, but we'll move on from that. First up, we have our pin, and it is, I have absolutely no clue. Um, I don't recognize this at all. It says... It kind of looks like Sergeant Kabuki Man from the Toxic Avenger. It does say Kabuki Man. The theme is Revenge Bad Blood, so I was somewhat right. And it says this pin is Kabuki Man. I know, I, he doesn't look familiar to me at all. But it said, I don't know what it meant. It says custom hat pins. I don't know if that's the company or, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what the hat pins thing. Like I said, I don't know if that's the company that makes this or what it is for sure. Um, but I thought it was just the hat, so maybe thinking like it was his hat that has to do with this. Not exactly sure, but I guess, whatever. Kabuki Man is what that is. I don't even know if you can see it. It looks really weird. But it's like a, um Asian Kabuki guy. Next up, we have Baby Yaga, the Boogeyman. I don't know what it is, but it's a pin, but I assume, or a pin, a bullet. Way off on things there, but I'm not sure if it's anything else. There is something weird to it right here, but I don't know. Looks like a whistle, but I don't know. It might be a beer bottle opener. Yeah, probably. I don't know what any of this crap is, but it says... Um, Baby Yaga, the Boogeyman. I don't know, again. I have no clue what this is at all. But there's that. Maybe Rambo? Bad boy? I don't know. But first up, we have a picture out of here. Of course, it's Bam Box um, exclusive with a certificate, certificate of authenticity. But it is a Punisher picture, which looks really cool. I really like this. So, of course, we have the Punisher. So, since 1974, it says Punishing. So it looks like a really like old timey picture, um, almost like an old like uh, soda picture or something like that. But it's got the Punisher, and then it is signed, I assume, by the artist down here, which is cool. And this is number eight eighty nine out of three thousand, so we made it under a thousand. But that's a really nice picture. That's one of the coolest pictures we've gotten from the box, at least in a while. So that'll definitely be um, going with the rest of our pictures that we keep. Next up, we have. It looks like a um, X-Men picture with um, Wolf or Sabretooth and Storm from, I believe, the first or uh, yeah, the first X-Men movie. Um, and it looks like it says we have a thing back here with their certificate. It says the photo should be Tyler Lemain. Well, it says Tyler Main or Main, yeah. It says this photo has been signed, hand signed by Tyler Main, who played Sabretooth in um, X-Men, and it was done in a private sign or whatever. So that's really cool. Um, getting a picture of an actual character from the X-Men movies. So this is what I like in, uh, like, autographs and stuff. Like, you get a character, like, it's not one of the main characters. Like, it's not an X-Men, like, Hugh Jackman or even um, Halle, Halle Berry. Berry or anything. But it's still, like, I know who this person is, at least. So that's really cool that we actually got a picture of that. So that's awesome. So at least they're doing a little better. And it looks like that's it for the box. So this box was really light, I forgot to mention that, so it's in one of their smaller boxes, which they do this size um, normally and stuff, but it's like looks a little smaller than it was super light, and so I guess only having a couple items in here would explain why. But let's look at what we got here. Um, so of course we have the pin, which it looks like um, there was maybe, and one of them is exclusive, I assume the one we got was not, but there's one where he's got his hand up and he's holding chopsticks in it um, as a thing. But it says it is Sergeant Kabuki Man from the NY says NYPD. So doesn't say anything beyond that. It's part of the Toxic Avenger movie franchise from Troma. Okay. I don't know. So if you say that, it must be true. So then we have, of course, our Punisher art print says by Dave Perillo. So I assume, yeah, that's who signed the bottom in there. It looks like you could have got a purple or whatever instead of red background. You could have got, like, a purple one there in the back. Then, of course, we have Revenge by Blood as our thing. Then we have an 8x10 saber-tooth picture signed by Tyler Main. And 
Oh, it looks like you could have got two different photos. So there's this one here, which is cool because that's Stormman. But then there's um, the one where he has the log when he fights Wolverine and stuff. And that would have been cool too because it's a much like better photo, I think, overall. Then we have the Baby Yaga 50 caliber bullet. Oh, it's from John Wick. That's what this is from. And it is the yes, a bottle opener. And it's a 50 caliber bullet bottle opener with from ba it says Baby Yaga the Boogeyman. And that doesn't really say much anything else. Just talks about opening bottles. I thought I'd say something about John Wick. And so that's it for this box. And this shows next month we have Defend Space Edition as our box. I know there's um, going to be stuff from the Star Wars Clone Wars from Guardians of the Galaxy 2. So hopefully there's some cool stuff in that because we did continue to get this box. Um, so, what was your favorite mind out of this box, bro? Um, I actually kind of like everything that came in the box because I am familiar with all the stuff. I am a huge Punisher fan. Um, John Wick is a really good movie, and now that you've said that, that makes a lot of sense. Phew. My favorite, prob one of these two pictures, I'm not exactly sure. I mean, I, re I like this one a lot, but I just wish the actual picture itself was better, as in, like, something different, because it's just kind of weird. <coughs> Sorry. Um, and then the Punisher is really cool as well. Um, but I do have to say, like, for getting a lot less items, I do like this box a lot. Now, like I said, this box did arrive really late. I don't... Um, here, there's a thing says... To our Bammers, we are incredibly sorry about the delay in getting this box to you. I have gone into detail on what happened on our community page if you want to find out. Because of it, there is going to be an extra item in the next month's box. Um, for those of you um, who received the box, please accept my apologies. Thank you for your incredible continued support. And that's from Adam. Um, so that's why I was wondering since there's like a few items, which it's about one, one or two items, usually short of what it is, and so that makes sense if... If the item that they're waiting for or something was not in this box, unless it is one of these items, um, obviously it doesn't say. Um, but you never know, because there was a problem with something like not arriving on time and stuff. I'm not exactly sure which one it was, or like I said, if it's even included in here. But overall, I thought the box was pretty de decent. This is probably one of my favorite boxes, at least so far, that we've gotten from them. Because like I said, the, this picture is awesome. Definitely going to be keeping this one. This picture is cool, so we're going to put it with all our other print things and stuff like that. The pin is probably the worst thing to me, just because I have absolutely no clue what it is, and it looks really weird as well to go along with it. Um, but other than that, the box wasn't that bad. So the, again, the theme was Revenge Bad Blood. And that's going to be it for this BAM box unboxing. So if you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. Leave any comments you have down below and let me know what you thought of the items and if they were better or anything this month. And hit that red subscribe button to see more. And we'll see you next time.